Alright, so let's proceed to the next one, which is the difference between capital and revenue expenditure. So in everyday business, okay, we spend money, alright, for the expenditure. Alright, uh, and then we have to decide, okay, the money that we spend, all right is it for uh, capital expenditure or is it for revenue expenditure so what are the differences between these two expenditure okay so capital expenditure is an expenditure that increases the asset value because of the improvement of the capacity or efficiency okay um and the capital expenditure all right is any cost that you have incurred to bring the asset to its intended location and use by the business Okay, so capital expenditure is basically where you um, spend the money, okay, for acquisition of your asset, okay, for the purchase of the asset. However, when we record, okay, the purchase of asset, we did not only uh, record the purchase price, okay, we did not only um, um, recognize, okay, the purchase price as the asset value. But we include also any other costs, okay, to bring the asset to its intended location and use, okay. So let's say for example, okay, you purchase a motor vehicle, you purchase a car, okay. So when you purchase a car, okay, there is a purchase price of the car. But together with that purchase price, you may have, uh, you have to pay for, okay, you may have, pay you may have uh paid for um road tax okay insurance for the first time okay and then um maybe other fees okay that you have to pay for example for the plate number right and then any other costs uh, needed okay to bring the asset to its intended location okay maybe you need to fill up the petrol for the first time because without uh filling up the petrol then um you cannot bring the asset to its intended location okay so all the costs that you have incurred all right related to the asset okay and to bring the asset to its intended location and to it to its intended use by the management all right all costs actually can be uh, added up all right uh, as the asset cost okay other than the purchase price okay so the accounting treatment would be to debit asset Okay, with all the costs that you have incurred, right, credit, cash, bank, okay, or payable if it is on credit. Okay, whereas the revenue expenditure is an expenditure that does not increase the asset value, but it is an expense incurred in the day-to-day -day running of business. Okay, it is any cost incurred to maintain the working condition of the existing asset. Okay, let's say, for example, you have incurred costs for repainting of the building okay you may require to paint the building for the first time but the repainting of the building after many years after that okay that is considered as um, revenue expenditure and not to be added as uh, the asset value okay you cannot uh, you cannot record that as uh, asset okay it will be only a revenue expenditure okay another example would be for your motor vehicle, okay, you have to replace a small part in your motor vehicle to make sure that it's running as usual. So because of that, you have to do some repair and maintenance work, okay, on the motor vehicle. Okay, so the payment that you made, okay, will be considered as revenue expenditure because that expenditure that you incur is only to make sure that, okay, your motor vehicle is running as usual. Okay, however, if you have to replace the whole engine of the car, okay, you have to replace the whole engine of the car, all right, and then by replacing the engine, you are able to extend the life of your motor vehicle, okay, you are able to extend the life of motor vehicle, therefore, the replacement of the engine, all the cost that you have incurred to replace the engine, you may add to the cost of motor vehicle it can be considered as part of motor vehicle it can be considered as part of asset cost okay all right for uh, revenue expenditure therefore the accounting treatment is to debit expense okay to credit cash bank okay or accrued expense okay if you already incurred the expense okay but not yet uh, made any payment okay all right 
So I hope it is clear related to um, the difference between the revenue and um, capital expenditure. Alright, so what are the effects? What are the effects of wrong classification? Okay, if you wrongly classify, okay, capital expenditure as revenue expenditure. Okay, so what happens is capital expenditure is basically the the expenditure that you have incurred when you purchase an asset. Okay, so if you wrongly classify them as your revenue expenditure, okay, meaning as an expense in statement of profit or loss, okay, so the total asset in the statement of financial position will be understated. The total expenses will be overstated and the net profit will be understated. Okay, what if revenue expenditure is wrongly classified as capital expenditure? So the total asset will be overstated. Okay, you are not, you shouldn't uh, record, let's say for example, okay, you record stationary as your asset while the stationary is only an expense, okay, revenue expenditure. So when you only record that um, stationary as an asset, okay, or capital expenditure, what happens is the total asset will be overstated, okay, and the total expense will be understated. Hence, you report, okay, an overstated net profit. Okay, so uh, so here are the examples of capital and revenue expenditure. Okay, examples of capital expenditure. So please bear in mind the capital expenditure is the acquisition of asset. Okay, so it include the purchase price of the non-current asset. Okay, include the purchase price plus any other cost incurred to bring the asset to its intended location and use. Okay, from uh, from the seller. Okay to the buyer premises okay from the seller to the buyer premise okay so any cost that we have incurred okay for that purpose to bring from the supplier from the seller okay to the buyer right so any cost that we have incurred okay we may add that, that to the um, non-current asset cost okay for example the fridge charges legal costs installation costs buildings extension replacement of major parts of motor vehicle or equipment or machinery okay motor vehicle first road tax and insurance okay so this is an example okay example of revenue expenditure okay for example repair and maintenance repainting replacement of minor parts of motor vehicles equipment or machinery renewal of road tax and insurance okay if you incur cost uh, for tax and insurance for the first time okay that can be part of your asset cost but any renewal after that okay in the following year that will be considered only as a revenue expenditure okay petrol or fuel expense depreciation of non-current asset stationary building rental expense okay all right so that's all for the differences between capital expenditure and revenue expenditure